This is an option on the table. I mean, certainly this wouldn't be our first choice because ideally we wouldn't be dealing with the massive influx of illegal immigrants coming across the border. The president likes the idea um, and Democrats have said they want these individuals into their communities. So let's see if it works and everybody gets a win out of it so that the towns right there on the border aren't taking on the entire burden and that we're shifting some of that burden uh, to places who constantly claim uh, to want to have open borders and want to have an open city. So let's put some of those people into their communities and into their towns and, and see if they are okay then with that same impact. The president's trying to browbeat them to come over. That's no way to get a compromise. Even Mitch McConnell is saying, enough of this already. Well, why don't and the president the keep... We'll meet them this afternoon if they like to come to the why White don't you House invite and them? talk about their invite. The, the offer stands, the invitation is open. So certainly we want to work with it with the nation's mayors. But if you look at a city like Philadelphia, mm -hmm. you have a mayor there who won't share information with ICE anymore, which means that we don't even know who's there, why they're there, how long okay. they're there. By the way, there's, a, there's a circular mm -hmm. illogic about this. If the president believes we're full, why does he want to help basically create a permanent way for these because the people to stay are coming here anyway, as you know. Jake, I don't, I don't know whether it's legal or illegal. I mean, maybe he's just saying this to make everybody crazy, uh, make everybody talk about it on their shows. But what I don't get is why don't we try to solve the problem? We don't want illegal immigration. We don't want people coming illegal across our border. We want legal immigration. I'm from a state that we love immigrants, but we want legal immigration. So it's frustrating to me we're not getting anything done. Everybody talks about uh, Democrats, Republicans getting together. We are absolutely, as Democrats, ready to sit down and talk. But we won't be lectured to by the president. Let's sit down and talk. But right now, we have eight senior vacancies at the department, so we're kind of in, in a rudderless situation. Look, you can't uh, threaten somebody with something they're not afraid of. And we are not afraid of diversity in the state of Washington. We, we, we relish it. It is the basis of our economic and cultural success. These are humans. These are people. Uh, this is a clearly a political uh, move for the president. He's using the immigrants as pawns in his political game of chess. Uh, he's not really interested in a solution. He's more interested in preserving a political issue for the 2020 election. If the president would, would, would support comprehensive immigration reform and work with Democrats and Republicans, we have the consensus to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Uh, the president uh, has no right to spend money uh, appropriated for, by Congress for other purposes to ship uh, immigrants all over the country. Uh, if, if someone requests asylum, he, sh he should be considered, th there should be a place for that person uh, to stay while that uh, asylum request is being adjudicated. This is just, nor is it right for the president uh, to use uh, immigrants or, or people who are claiming political asylum as pawns in, in, in a fight against political opponents. 